Hello, this is Ian Mitchell with Snome Americas, and we're going to show you how we do call handling on our M500 series of phones. So again, we have our M55 handsets in our M58 death sets, and we'll show you uh, basically what it looks like when you're using a shared call, the, the KLE um, program lines versus uh, private lines, how you can uh, change between the caller ID scenarios, look at the call list to see what calls are active or currently held, and pick those up at other devices. So to begin with, let's get a, a detailed um, description of, of how the phone operates. So if we look here on the M58, we can see here that we have these buttons programmed as our shared calls. So we can see that they're all one SIP account. So this is actually um, extension 1030, but we've indexed it uh, four times. So we have basically the first call, second, third, and fourth call. And we can also see on these wider shots here that all the other phones are programmed the same way. So we've got one through four on this phone, one through four on this phone, and then even on both handsets, um, the first four buttons are all set as the, key, uh, as the key lines. And then coming back to this desk set here, we can see that we've also programmed a private extension at 1034, and this is also the default account. And what this means, of course, is if we just basically go off hook automatically, it will be picking that default account, 1034, but of course we can just push any one of the line buttons in order to make a call on one of the key lines instead. So what this looks like on a handset is again, um, our default account for this particular one is 1386. But of course I can hit one of the key lines to make a call on that. And now we're using auto shop, or I could even hit this other button that we have here programmed here for another private extension, um, 1032, in order to make those outbound phone calls. And then if I just go ahead and start dialing and don't push anything, of course we'll be using that default account of 1386. So what this means is we have the, the flexibility to basically um, handle uh, multiple SIP accounts. We can have those SIP accounts be shared um, on multiple phones, and we also have the ability to have our own private extension, which means we get our own voicemail. Now we notice when we get a call coming in, what we will see is all the phones will ring. So we can see on this one here, we get uh, caller ID information. We can see the line one ringing. And then over here, we see the same thing where all the phones are ringing at the same time. And then if we get a second or third call coming in, so we can see on the second call that we've just rolled over to the uh, new ringing call. But of course we can use the up and down arrow in order to switch between the two. And even on this handset, we can do the same thing, where we can use up and down to switch between the two ringing calls. Or if we had a third one, we'd be able to do that as well. Now let's say we wanna answer the calls. We can just go ahead and push any one of the line buttons. Even though we have this selected on this, I can actually just push this button in order to answer the call there. And then of course on another one of these phones, I can answer the call over here. And then coming back to this, we can see that we're on the call on this first line. We can see that the other phone has picked up the second call and we actually get the updated label to show that it is on a call. And because we're actually doing a busy monitor of that first um, death set, we can actually see that that phone is actually in use now. And if we look on a cordless hand that, that has also been programmed for a busy uh, decked phone busy monitoring, we can see that um, that button six, which is actually looking at this phone in particular, shows busy, and we can also see that the two lines are busy. Now, the great thing is, um, because we don't have the key labels on a handset like this, we can actually just hit this PFK one through six, and this will show us exactly what's happening. So we can see that there is a call on line one, there's a call on line two. We can also see that the front desk is the one that we're monitoring and that it's on a call. And then we can also see what our other buttons have been programmed for. So we can see that button five is programmed for that private extension of 1032. And then we also have buttons three and four as the additional um, shared calls for the auto shop. In addition, if I go into the call list, 
we can see the two calls that are actually currently in progress. And then if we look back on this test set here, we can go ahead and put this call on hold. And what we can see here is we know that that first call is on hold. We see that the second one's still in progress. And on the death set, if we were to go into the call list, we would actually see both the call that's held and the call that's still in progress. And we notice that we do have the possibility of barging into that call if we so choose, or on the first one, we could resume it there. Or of course, we could also just hit the button in order to resume back with those calls. Now at the same time, if we do get a private call coming in, we can see here that only the one phone will ring that has the call. So let's go ahead and call into 1034. And we see that this phone here is ringing. And we do get the call ID information for it. But if we look at the other phones here, we know that there's nothing happening. And if we go into the call list, because this is a private call for this particular phone, we see that we get the indication that there is no call available. Now, if we do choose to answer the phone on this, on our private extension, go ahead and answer here. The nice thing is even though this is a private line, we still get um, that visibility for a held call versus uh, not a held call or also additional calls. So if I'm on my private extension and I get that second phone call that comes in on my particular line, we see that the second call will actually indicate on that second button, we'll get the updated information, we'll get the updated caller ID information, we can still switch between the two, and we could answer it by simply pushing the button. And by answering it, we notice that we automatically hold the first call. And of course, I can see it from here, but I still have the ability to actually put this call on hold. So let's say we'll have both of them on hold now. I get my call list back, and then from here, I can actually look at the call list and then see just my held calls and then choose to resume either one of those, get more information about it, or of course I could just resume the call right from here. And what that would look like on the handset, so we have our default extension of 1386, but of course I do have the 1032 also programmed on this handset. So if we just make a phone call into this particular phone, what we'll notice is we get the incoming call, we get the caller ID information, we see that the button that we've programmed for our private line is the one that does start flashing. So of course we can answer here or we can just push the button in order to pick up. And even though I don't have a button programmed for it, we do still have that default count on this particular handset for 1386. So we can see what it looks like when we have a call coming into it. And because we actually do have that account also programmed on some other phones, like this one in particular, if we switch to the second page, we can see what it looks like if there's a private um, SIP account that is attached to multiple phones. So we can see that we did roll over to the incoming call. We can see it ringing at this other phone here. It doesn't show a line because we don't have it programmed, but I can still answer it right at this phone. Now by answering it here, we can see that we auto held that first call that is flashing. So of course, once I'm done talking to this person, I can just hang up. And then if I want, I can actually basically pick up the held call from here, or I could go into my call list, see those calls and resume it from here. But we'll go ahead and do it by just clicking on that button. And that is how we can handle both shared calls and private lines on both the M55 and the M58.